welcome to the stage, Monroe Martin, everybody! I'm back in the dating, and, uh, well, back in the dating, and I'll probably stop pretty soon. <laughs> it's, it's pointless. This is fucking, uh... I don't want to get to know new people. I just want to fuck the ones I know. I, and I'm also new into, like, weed culture. Like, I just started, I don't smoke, but I just started eating edibles because they're delicious. And I ate an edible before I went on a date three weeks ago, and it was the greatest shit ever. It wasn't on purpose. I'm not like, I'm not like that bold where I'm like, fuck her, let me take this edible. I have a roommate who, she had uh, a piece of cake in her purse, and I went in there because it was open and I could see the cake sticking out. And I'm a great roommate, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna eat this cake because I know she's trying to watch her weight. So I ate the piece of cake, and she texted me. She was like, did you eat that? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, that's an edible, you dumb dumb. I'm like, this is gonna be an awesome fucking date. Uh, one, I show up 45 minutes late, like a fucking G. I didn't, I didn't even do that whole, I'm so sorry, I apologize for my lateness. I just walked in like, come on, let's eat. I do this, I know you're hungry, you've been waiting. I felt I had a little bit of leeway to do that because this was our second date, but I was a little hesitant to set the second one, so she asked me out. She was, hey, I would like to take you out this time. And I'm like, goddamn right. Like Kendrick said, this dick ain't for free. <laughs> she goes, I want to, but I want to, I want to treat you to something different that I know you haven't had before. I want to take you to an African restaurant. And I was like, I don't know if I can eat that much rice. Like a 50 pound bag of rice to myself. That's intimidating. I was so fucked up. I mean, it was great. The food was awesome. There was a lot of rice though. It was fucking awesome. I think she got her revenge because there was like a little pepper like that big on my plate and she didn't eat hers, but I ate mine because I like spice and I like just fucking popped it in my mouth and she just sat back. I was like, you like that? I'm like, uh, it's getting hotter and hotter now. So she made me drink like this nut milk. I know that just sounds nasty as fuck. Here, yeah, drink this nut milk. It must have angered the spice, because it didn't count down. It was like the spice was just like, pussy, you thought some nut milk was going to stop me? I'll burn this whole fucking mouth down right now. So I deal with it. That's her revenge. Now, when the check comes, ladies, if you invited the guy, that's kind of your duty. You pay that. That is, you're laughing because you're like, <laughs> no, it's not. Like, why would you go let me take you out and then I pay for myself? You could have just texted me the name of the restaurant and I went and ate by myself. <laughs> now I gotta pay for two people? I could have did this shit myself. <laughs> now, I don't mind paying. I don't care. I don't really mind it. But what I do want is you to at least make a gesture. Like, make the, <laughs> like, act like you're going to fucking pay. She didn't do that. She, like, all right, so, because you look like you don't know what the fuck gesture to make. Like, look in your purse. You don't know, no matter what. You can just be, like, flicking a penny back and forth. <laughs> we don't know. We can only see this part. So just <laughs> make eye contact. Like, you're just buying time until the guy goes, you know what? I got this. She didn't do that. She just slacked down in her chair and then put her phone, like, straight to her fucking face. So I pay, but then I guess my high confidence goes, you know what, fuck that, make her pay that tip. So I, do. so I do, I pay, and then I go, you gotta pay the tip, yo. Just like that, with a little bit more bass in my voice. I go, you gotta pay that shit. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean I have to pay the tip? You have to add additional money to the money I laid down to show gratitude for the person who served you. Well, I've never had to pay the tip on a date before. That was her actual voice. I'm not, I am not making this shit up. I'm in the weird chicks, okay? <laughs> she pulled out her last seven dollars. I knew it was her last by the condition of the money. And it was a $5 bill and a $2 bill. That's birthday card money. 
That's money your grandmother puts in the car. You need to save your $2 bills. They'll be worth more someday. So I take a little shitty money and I gotta add more to it. Cause $7 is not enough for anything. I take that, I pay it, and I like do it slowly and look her in the eyes like, yeah, I just did that. So now we're on the train. I'm in my own little world, my own little high world. She's sitting right next to me. And I don't like looking to see what people are doing on her phone, but she was on her phone for a very long fucking time. Or it seemed like a long time because when you're fucked up, you don't know how long <laughs> shit actually is. But I like looked over to see what she was doing and she was looking at dick pics. <laughs> Not my dick pic. It wasn't like she was looking as I can't wait to get with this tonight. I don't, I don't send dick pics. I feel like that's a bit immature. You gotta believe in yourself. My dick is like, it's like an independent movie. Ain't no trailers for that shit. <laughs> Come to the Angelica and see it for yourself. <laughs> so she, I, I, I'm key, I, I say something to her. I go, are you looking at dick pics right now? She's like, yeah, but every girl looks at them on her phone. I'm like, not like it's pictures of your niece and nephew. You're scrolling through it like it's a photo album. I was like, this is when we were at Six Flags. Do I leave the date? No. I continue the date to our destination, which is the movies. We finally get to the movies. Now, I don't know how y'all live, but my movie theaters, their seats do shit. <laughs> so she... So she lifts up the armrest, and I'm thinking, it's like, yeah, okay, she might get a little close to me. She feel guilty for looking at dicks. <laughs> she positions her body and leans back and then puts her feet up on me, and I'm like, fuck that. I knock her feet down, but I, like, must have summoned up my, like, of mice and men strength. Like, I was just too much, and the fucking body swung over to the other side. That was excessive. I didn't need to do that. So I was like, you know what? Let me get out of the situation. I go to get popcorn. Now, there's an etiquette to how you receive someone's popcorn who are sharing with you. You take these two fingers and this digit right here, and you grab three to four pieces. And then you eat, and then you go back for more if you feel the need to. This fucking monster of a woman <laughs> takes her five fucking fingers and she digs deep down like she's looking for like that NSYNC CD. <laughs> like, like we're like David Busters and this is a claw machine. This is like, I worked hard for this CD. And then she brings it up and then she takes a fistful of popcorn and fucking stuffs it in her face. Like 12 pieces roll off and they fall on the ground. I'm angry because you just wasted food. There are hungry kids in Brooklyn. I know people say Africa, but I've never been there before. <laughs> Gotta worry about the ones in my backyard. So I'm like, fuck that, this date is over. I don't say that out loud, I say that in my head. But I don't believe I'm gonna leave because I'm just not that much of a man. So I have to do the process in my head so I can get the fuck out of there. I do the paperwork. So as we're sitting there, I take my phone out. I dim the light, because I don't want her to see what I'm doing. Then she should have dimmed the light if you're gonna look at dicks on your phone. It's a very private moment. You don't want to have your fucking backlight up to 100 while you're looking at dicks. And they weren't even big dicks. Who looks at regular-sized dicks? That's like looking at a regular-sized apartment. No, you want a dream. I delete her number. And then I delete her on Facebook, block her on Twitter, Instagram. I start a LinkedIn account, find her, and delete her on that shit. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to get the fuck out of here. So I say to her, like, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. And I get up, and I leave, and I walk to the comedy club, and I do a set, and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> I murdered. And y'all are like, <gasps> my dad left me. I turned out perfect. <laughs> All right? He had obligations. I don't know this lady. A lot of my friends were like, oh, that's fucked up, man. What if she approaches you? What if she finds you and says something to you? What's she gonna say? You left me at the movie theater. I thought you said you were going to the bathroom. <laughs> I did. I just didn't specify which one I was going to. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. See you later. Thank y'all. See ya. My number one first special is Chris Rock and Bring the Pain. There's nothing better than that. There's absolutely nothing better than Bring the Pain. Then you got Live at Sunship Strip. Then you got uh, Elephant in the Room. Then there's uh, Bill Burr's Let It Go. And then there's Dave Chappelle's Little Talk. 